hello guys welcome to my channel it's so good to have you stop by if this is your first time my name is Nsung Rawili I am an international student in France I share content on master's application my life here as an international student I do vlog and share other useful content if these are the kind of things that you like please kindly subscribe to my channel like my videos and share it to others so that they could benefit from it so in today's video we'll be carrying out a simulation on how you can apply to French schools and if you are thinking of going to study in France in 2023, this is actually the right time for you to apply and search for courses because now you could um, actually see some scholarships opening for some of the schools and you can automatically apply for it as a result of you applying to that school. So I'm just going to um, like give you a suggestion on what to do because some of us, we find it difficult in manipulating the French website or in searching for courses. I'm going to be using Campus France to search for courses. Like I said, it's always good to use Campus France because it just gives you a lot of options and um, of different courses in your related fields. And from there, you could actually go to the school's website to search for the courses and know more about it. So please stay behind and follow up to the end of the video so that you don't miss out on any important information. So the first thing we are going to do is to search on Campus France. We are going to search um, Campus France course search. You check there and then you are going to select programs taught in English because we are looking out for the courses in English. And when you select this, you are going to see some documents that consist of the programs in English, um, in French, and in Spanish languages. So you can just go to the English one so that we will not get lost. And in the PDF, you will see um, a link that guides you to selecting um, the website for you to find it for you to find the different courses in English I will click there and once you come to this website you are going to see the different levels um, I've explained this before in my previous videos the license one is just like saying um, Andre level like first year bachelor's license two is second year uh, second year bachelor's license three is your third year bachelor's and master's one is like saying final year or like the beginning of master's but basically it's like a summary just taking you through what you have already learned in your bachelor's degree that's for people that studied outside france for their bachelor's so for this video we are going to be choosing master's one and master's two so that's the one we are going to be selecting so if you want to know more what's the difference between masters one and masters two you can check my video um my previous video i've made a video on that check out the link and know more about it so we are going to select masters one and masters two and then the field for today's video we are going to be looking at engineering i'm going to make other videos for the different courses and we are going to choose one school from each of the fields to make a simulation on how to apply to them so for engineering, I'm going to say 100% taught in English so that you give me only the courses that are taught in English. And um, types of degree, I'm not going to bother myself about that one. So now you can see that we have 336 courses, programs that are being taught in English. That's for Masters 1 and Masters 2 in engineering. And you can simply just go through this particular list and you can see the school and the city in which the particular um, program or the school is located so let's say for example um engineering master degree in formulation chemistry second year this is like your m2 so if you click on this one now it shows you 100 percent in english it, it gives you the school's website um it, it tells you about the program that is being taught there type of degree is an engineering degree and the level is masters at the end um, the credit level, that is the European credit level, yes. Diploma, yes. And um, is it certified? Yes. Is it accredited? It, it shows you they can see it there. And then the length of, length of program is two years. So that means that this because they actually have like um, a master's one, so for this particular program, or you have to do it for two years. Because, like I said, that some programs that just require you to do for two years, and that some that you can always start from your second year. Just check out my video, you are going to see. Um, the difference and then you see the application level here it said those who are validated by a four-year bachelor's can actually apply and they could be eligible for an entry directly into second year it's good like you see it's been it's in kind of bold letters because mostly if you are going for a second year you actually have to have like a, a master's first that's if you studied outside in um, France 
for you to enter your second year then your level required like i said is masters one but if you're starting from your masters one it's just the four years four years must um bachelor that you did that it's a requirement so with that you can just enter directly into your masters one like for me i started with my masters one and um so applicants who have previously followed university level in English could just apply without sharing any proof of English. So for this one, they actually don't require any proof of English if you did your course in English, except you did it in a different language. That's when you're required to like show English proficiency. And it just shows you everything. The nutrition fee it's seven thousand eight hundred per year. So um, this is actually high as compared to like my school or other schools that I know. Um, but if you actually want to know more about the school because sometimes the tuition fee here might be like um an old one maybe it could be a change and it was not updated here so it's good that you just go on the school's website here and look at it so that you know more at least you now know the name of the course so when you go to the school's website it'll be easier for you to find it just for you to search the masters maybe mass engineering master information chemistry second year and then you know more about it and then you know more about the course so that is what you're going to do okay um i'm just going to use my own program and do the simulation the program I'm studying so it's sustainable sustainable industrial engineering that is the course i'm going to use to do um, the simulation for us to see industrial engineering um, okay so this is the course and then we go to it and from here you can take us directly to the school website so you see for this one it's an admission a level required is your license three that's like your final year if you studied outside for outside france your final year license three and with that you can apply for it and the tuition fee is saying four thousand euros but if you should go to the school's website you're going to see that right now it's actually five thousand euros so that's why it's good for you to always cross check with the school's website campus front just basically gives you an idea of the course and where it's located and like the requirements and so on so i'm going to go to the school's website now and then in the school's website it's showing us for the second year and um, but i want the first year so if I want, if we can just simply come here, let's go master's degree. And uh, this is sustainable industrial engineering that you're looking for. You click there. And then you see it first year sustainable industrial engineering. Apply now. You click there, apply now. And here you're going to see the, like the admission, the entry requirements, um, what background that it's needed, industrial engineering background, computer science, manufacturing sciences and so on and so forth like they said you should hold a bachelor of science so for me i actually have a bachelor of science in industrial chemistry and not bachelor of engineering so i could still apply for it because i still meet the entry requirement and the recruit recruitment criteria english proficiency and batch um, prof professional project and so on and so forth and then they say apply now through fsa fsa is simply like the application portal that's that's just how they call it so i don't actually know the full name but it's you apply through fsa and that's just the name of the application um, um, website for you to apply. I said to apply for the Master in Sustainable Industrial Engineering first you click here to take you here. If you come here to your visa, they'll show you if you're a foreign student from one of these countries, you should apply by the FSA and Etudes en France. So that's why you said like there's some courses that they require you to just apply directly to Campus France and there are some other courses that you have to apply to them first and then for the sake of your visa you go to Campus France like for me I first of all applied through my school portal and then after I've gotten like my admission when it was time for me to process my visa that was when I went to Etude on France and to register with Campus France and for that one I just had to select already obtained admission and I still paid my normal fees and then it was actually very fast but there's some courses that require to apply directly through campus France so you just have to like read the school's website and really understand what is needed for you to do and please when you are doing this you just have to take time read between lines like you don't have to like scroll through it and say that you did not find a way to apply you have to just read between lines because this actually happened to me never said they, they told me I, I should go for to a tutor of course to like register so um so right now you can also see like the application deadline the application deadline you see it's um second 20th february 2023 and that's the application deadline um that is for each of the commissions sorry so the deadline is on the 9th of february 
and the commission will sit on 20th February for them to determine if they are moving for interview or not, like to the next stage. And then the one for March, they sit here and you see the different application deadline. And when you come down, they show you like the school fees. So like I said that on campus France, it was actually wrong. Yeah, it's actually 5,000. 5,000 euros then plus students uh, contribution which is 95 euros and they show you like the cost of living in France is about 900 euros per month and I think maybe you should not say that sometimes it could actually be they sometimes give you over like over um, what is required for it um, I'm yet to make a video on my cost of living here but if I should like um, estimate it I'm sure I don't trace me not to 900 euros per month and that is because even for my housing i actually have like benefits from some reduction like i've mentioned in a previous video i, I benefit from, from some reduction so i'm not actually paying exactly the amount i'm supposed to pay for my housing and transportation and other things is not actually that high so let's say it's like 100 euros I'm, it's not actually that much i'm just overestimating it and uh, my house rent let's say minus my cap like being paid the contribution by the government is like 400 euros so let's say that's 500 already and my normal daily upkeep let's say like 150 or 200 so you see it's actually like overestimated so don't be scared by this overestimation i just think just to be on the safe side especially when you are coming the first two months you might not actually receive your cap immediately just to give you that allowance depending on when you receive the um, reduction for the housing and then they have told you about the scholarships available you see the language and other information and then down you can see the contact if you want to email the school to ask any information like for example if you are finding it, it hard to like see the school fees or you have any question um as regards to your um your credentials or any other question you just have to like email this contact so you should always watch out for this kind of contact in any of the schools that you want to apply to and you can always email them and they'll answer you and i always advise when you're emailing these people even though the course is in english you can always like email it in french or in french and english for example just use your um translate um any translating app and translate it and send it to them so um i think that is the things i'm going to i can note in this particular thing so okay so let's go straight to like the simulation now so to apply for the first engineering i'm going to click here and it takes me to the fsa the website that i'm using to um apply that's like they they call it the campaign and it shows that it's open it's open 21st um november and closes april that is for the whole period of the application and that means it's already open now because today is like the 26 or 27 and you can see other details there and right now it's already showing me registered user because i already have an account here this is like the platform even when you want to register for some courses that is for me it's the platform you should register so let's say i'm a newcomer and i want to create my own personal space i'm going to go, go here to create my personal space and i'm going to use a different email um to make this simulation okay you put in your email And my last name, I'll just put everything there. Or maybe I should use a different name just to avoid any. Okay, I'm going to use Apa. So I'm going to say I'm a female. I've registered now, and automatically you can see I have my application number already. And um, okay, so if you need to modify your personal detail it's just for you to come here to modify your personal detail and every other thing so right now i'm going to like start my application i can just come here to edit ap the application and you see the documents that you have to upload for this particular school so you upload your name you update your name so now you're under principal details your name and everything baccalaureate that is like um your high school um and then your current university your current situation is like maybe you have if you had a master's already that's going to be your current situation maybe if, if you had a bachelor's that's going to be your current situation or if it was hnd that's going to be your current situation so you write the name of the school year the principal degree is bachelor's or any other thing so if you click here to show us if you are currently in final year or if you have completed it and um the, the name of the degree 
um, is it a French bachelor degree or, or a foreign? So I own his foreign bachelor degree, specialty, what you study, you can just put it here, everything there at once. Then if you have any other other degree that you used, you can put it there. And then briefly describe your professional experience, if any. So if you don't have any, just for you to say you don't have any, but if you have, you can always put it there. For example, maybe if you did not like work, you can always use your um, internship, for example, that could be a professional experience. And if you are like from Nigeria, that we do like a mandatory youth service, your experience during that period, you can actually use it. Or depending on any other country that you are from, whatever you did within the time that you are applying for this particular program, that could be a professional experience for you, be it an internship, you can always use that. And after you feel that, you can always see documents to be included and um, you include all your documents. See, you need a CV. In this CV, you are going to use like your academic CV. Academic CV, literally, you are going to like put in, for example, if you did any research work, you can always include it there. Your cover letter, um, the transcript, you need to upload your transcript. And then here you find, say, explanation of your university grading system. So what I did here is not actually like a big deal. You, just, you can just like... Um, make it in a word document i just simply explain okay a stands for 80 to 100 for example b stands for 60 to 70 that's just it and then proof of ranking certified by your school um uh, i think this one maybe you can actually use uh, maybe your certificates for example or you can use um your certificates or your school statement of um how do you call it again is it results statement or something but like this fee is not actually mandatory like if you don't see the asterisk that means it's not mandatory so if you don't really have the information you can actually like skip it if just to be on the good side you can just like skip it then proof of registration or graduation registration or graduation i think this is where you put your certificate actually proof of registration or, or graduation this is where you put your graduation or statement of results the english translation of diploma research certificate that is if your um, certificate is not in english you need to translate it and then your passport or id card this is like your international passport in this case you upload it and these fields in red that are actually like mandatory with the asterisk so you can't skip it and then if you have any other document this other document it should be more like um for example, if you have like certifications that are necessary for the program, not like if they're not necessary, you shouldn't put it. So only the ones that are necessary, but if you don't, you can just like skip it. And um, then I think, then the next one is like languages. So you come here to languages, they say, um, so in my case in this one, because I did not sit for any IELTS or TOEFL or any of those stuff like that, I never sat for anyone. So for me, I actually use my WAEC, that's for people from West Africa. So I use my WAEC because for, for it, we have like English um, results as part of it. So I used it and I just put the name WAEC, I put the date it was taken, the certificate, I uploaded it. And then for French la French level, um, by then it was, I said basic, basic actually. So you can just put a basic and did you have a French test? If you, if you do not have it, just say no. Maybe it's just your assumption that you are basic. If you don't speak French, you can always stick you don't speak French. And then other languages. And we come into references. And here is where you upload your reference letter. So you, you are required to upload. So you need to reference. And I used to say, um, if you still have some relationship with your professors in school, you can actually like message them. Someone that you know will speak well of you. You put their name their last name and so on but before you reach out to them i think you should first of all before you put their names you should first of all reach out to them you can always see some someone from your office also but you should first reach out to them so that you know that um they are willing to speak for on your behalf the first name email and everything and letter of recommendation it's a hey in this one letter of recommendation you have the option of either you upload it yourself or you say your, your referee prefers to upload it it depends on your referee so you should ask so if you have it yourself, you can take, I have it myself, I need to show you a column for you to upload it. But if you don't, it should say my referee prefers and then you don't have to like um, think of, they just have to put the referee's name again and the, the email of the referee. So um, I think that is that it for that one. And the second referee. And then we come here to financial aspects. In financial aspects, you are asked um, registration fees for students is 5,000 euros um, and then 
this is for the EU student, this is for non EU student, 5,000, and then for EU student, it's 1,000. And how do you intend to finance your studies and your life in France? And so, on. for this one, I just wrote because at, the, at that time I was applying for my scholarship. So I just said, Oh, I, I applied for so 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 scholarship, and right now I'm in the interview stage, so I'm hoping to use this to, to finance my studies. And that was what I put. <laughs> So I think the answer that you give you doesn't necessarily affect your admission because when I got my invitation to for my interview, I can I think um, I had gotten my scholarship, right? Yes, I had gotten the scholarship, but I was here to do the interview. So, but I had submitted my application before. I, I had submitted my application before I got the scholarship. So I don't think this influences you getting admitted or not. Then if you are self-funded, you just have to tell them that you are self-funded, and that is it. And um, then we move to personal details again, your your email and your address, and then how did you find out the masters? You select one of the options, um, study portals. Um, so in this case, it's like Campus France. You can say study portals, and and that is it. And when once you are done, you just have, it's just for you to like click on validate, and validate literally like saves your work. And when once it's like green this incomplete changes to green that means you have completed all the necessary information and then you can submit your admission so it is actually that simple that is how you do it all right so that is it for engineering program so this this um, way of doing it actually applies to the other schools that you are going to apply check on campus france note the course check on the school's website to really be certain of the school fees and like the programs and like get more details on like the course models that is just it and um on the school's website you are going to like have more information about the course in terms of the programs you'll be doing what are the prospects um, year one, you can always click to know the courses that you'll be doing in your first year, know the credit load. You can always click on even the individual courses to know in this particular course what are they doing because having this knowledge is going to help you when you're writing your um, personal statements because it shows that you made your research so you can actually make references to some of those courses and like even the professors that are teaching those courses and um, the student life and other things like that. So. That is it for engineering and so if you are looking out for another course you can always check the list of my videos i'm going to post for other courses as well thank you guys for staying to the end of this video i hope i've been able to help um with the application process if you have any questions that you are still confused you can always try to drop your questions in the comment section or you do well to go through all my videos because most of these things i've already like mentioned in previous videos so please kindly take out time to look at them you could always answer your questions if i'm not able to um before i see your questions to so answer them and please remember to like this video share it and so that other persons can benefit from it and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any of my videos see you next time bye